Hey everybody and welcome back to another Thrift With Me video. In this video, uh, Bianca, my daughter, and I went over to the Village's Goodwill. Uh, we went here on a Saturday afternoon and we actually found quite a few things and I was pretty surprised. Now you guys might notice that I don't have my typical intro or anything like that, but I was having trouble with my laptop reading my video footage again, so we're on the other computer. Anyways, I spotted all of these eggs. Oh my gosh, these like paperweights and stuff. I spotted all these in one thing and I was like, oh my goodness. So at first I'm picking the cool paperweights, hoping that they're signed underneath. They were about $3.98 a piece. Um, just picking the glass ones that I'm attracted to at first. And then I'm like, okay, this is going to take more research. So I turned the phone off and uh, I looked at them off camera. And I ended up getting almost all of them. I picked this little planter up because this is one of the styles that uh, we were talking with you guys about in Sunday's live sale of the, uh, the styles that's becoming very popular. It's called Grand Millennial. Um, lots of blue and white pottery. Now, I know you guys, like a lot of you, have like, huh, that's always been a thing. I've always loved that kind of thing. Well, everything has its... Um, like everything comes back again, you know what I'm saying? Like everything has its like resurgence. It just starts to make its way back to popularity and uh, blue and whites and florals and um, just like layering and lace and all those things that sound very shabby chic and stuff are coming back, but it's coming back in a, a little bit different of a style and a different way to use some of the things. So um, in trying to keep up with the, like what is becoming popular, um, I'm looking for those kinds of things while I'm out. So that was a long explanation of why I got that blue and white piece of, um, ceramic, um, no pottery. It's, just, it's a planter. <laughs> um, that's why. So it wasn't super old, but, um, I figured I would pick it up anyway. So this was another one of the eggs. This one is a jewelry box. But I wasn't digging, the, the inside's cool, but I wasn't digging the outside because it's like very dollar store ceramic to me. Then I found this hummingbird piece that I absolutely love. A lot of times those have stickers saying that they're from like Nicaragua and stuff like that. And those things range anywhere like listed online from like $12 to $125. So um, I guess it just depends on how much you really like it. Found this really cool pig smash bank or crash bank. It was it's made out of pottery. You put the coins on the top and to get them out, you have to smash it to bits and pieces. I thought it was really well painted. It's probably, um, it, it kind of uh, is reminiscent of like a Southwestern um, sort of Mexican design, though it's not like marked or anything. There is some like pencil markings on the bottom, like someone wrote some numbers, but other than that. We have this Southwestern Bell right here. It had a chip on it. I do see these at the antique store here and there. They are pretty cool. And if you got them on the porch, um, I, I, I could imagine it would probably be beautiful having quite a few of them. Now I spotted this uh, piece of depression glass and I wanna say the pattern is Marcel. And it's, pr I think that it's pretty rare because I, I mean, I can't find it in the books. I see some pictures of it um, and then there's something there's a different version of it like a different shape listed on eBay for over a hundred dollars so I don't know if it would have had a lid which is why I was trying to find it in the book you know it just it's it's um, a mysterious piece <laughs> but I liked its shape so I ended up getting it so here we are in the basket aisle and no I did not get any baskets I didn't need any baskets at this time um, would I have probably gotten an awesome basket had I seen it and saved it for later? Possibly, but I didn't see any awesome baskets in this in this basket aisle. So surprise, this is the, that was like really believable, wasn't it? Um, but this is the last little bit of footage that I have for the Goodwill. But stay tuned because I have attached a shop with me slash thrift with me video from Salvation Army because I didn't get much footage at each door, but combined together, it makes for one heck of a video. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Salvation Army is coming right up.
guys, so this Salvation Army is Wesley Chapel, Florida. I like to go to this Salvation Army. I have found things here and there. This is the store that I found my very first and only ever in the wild Ladyhead base. I have found quite a few older pieces at the Salvation Army, but for the most part, it usually looks like this, but I'm always hopeful, especially when I get to go down to Wesley Chapel and there's one Goodwill and this store. Like I get two stores, like, you know, maybe eight minutes from each other. So I'm like, I will check. It doesn't matter. I, I will always check this store. <laughs> I'm hopeful. So this is something that I wanted to point out to you. I found this little ginger jar and it's a modern piece, probably like 80s to 2000s, missing its lid. People put flowers in them. This is a this is an old, much older piece of pottery. It's a very pretty little vase. Um, so I was, I still have my eyes opened for the new decor styles that are popular. You have like dark academia, light academia, you have cottage core, you have, um, the brocante style, you have this grand millennial style, which is why I was looking for the blue and white stuff. And so with, with, with telling you guys that, that I'm looking for specific things that are on, um, that are kind of popular, not necessarily trendy, but are popular. What kind of things do you guys decorate with? What is your style that you decorate your house with? And don't say like, I will, my go-to safe thing to say is eclectic. It's cause I like a little bit of everything, but I'm just, I'm trying to get more in depth. Like what do you, how, what do you decorate with? Also with this, like adding on to that question, if something fades out of popularity, and remember, popularity is only someone's opinion of something. So if, if it fades out of popularity, are you quick to let it go and to jump on to like the new thing? Or are you more like, I don't care what the style is. I don't care if it's like outdated. I just like it. So I'm going to decorate my home with it. So you tell me what kind of decorator are you? What kind of thrifter are you? Do you thrift on trend? Do you thrift with what's popular? Do you decorate your home like that? Um, or are you quick to be like, um, like, nope, I'm going to leave it. Um, not even if it was because of a budget, like just because of that's just your nature. Like, how do you, do you guys let it go if it's fading away or do you hold on to it because you like it? That is my curiosity question for you guys for today's video. Thank you guys so much for answering all my other questions in the other videos. Um, I try really hard. If I can't, if I'm not at a point in the day where I can answer you, I try to at least give you a little heart to let you know that I saw your comments. So thank you so much. And thank you for all the new subscribers that we've gotten. I'm just, I'm amazed. You guys are awesome. Like I, I, I'm totally like in awe of all the new people. So I really appreciate it. And I thank you very, very much. <laughs>
All right, guys, so there's a couple more minutes left of footage in this video, so I hope you guys stay tuned to check that out. But first, I want to thank all you guys for even clicking on this video in the first place and giving my channel a chance. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you to all the returning viewers and subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome, and I love you. So I wanted to give you guys a reminder, especially if you're new here, that on Fridays and Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern here on the channel, we host live sales. We do a lot of like fun things and it's just a lot of fun. So I hope you guys can check it out. That's where you'll see a lot of the things that are in these thrift with me videos or that are in my haul videos. We also have eBay and we have um, an Instagram page. We have a couple of them. My husband is Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage Co. and I'm simply Chapter after two vintage co if you guys want to go follow us over there we have a lot of fun we love to have a lot of new friends so all right guys thank you so 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 much for watching I really appreciate it don't forget to hit the thumbs up and make sure you answer my question in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys again soon bye